All right, if you're here, it's because you want to generalize your source VM by using sysprep or AKA create your custom VHD. Um, specifically in this case, it's going to be for the use of Azure. So this video will just cover how you can back up uh, a VM, uh, Azure VM, for example, um, and have the image ready to be posted and used for however which way you decide is, you know, makes sense for you. I just want to let everyone know that these steps for sysprep are not just for Azure VMs. You could just do it in general for any Windows VM as well. So you could do it for a local machine and back it up as well that way too. Okay, so before we begin, we're going to take a look at the steps we're about to follow. Um, also a reminder that important timestamps and links are inside the video description as always. So first and foremost, um, we're actually going to go out of order real quick. We're going to start by deleting this C Windows Panther directory. Then we're going to open command prompt as an administrator. Then inside command prompt, we're going to go to this directory. We're going to run sysprep.exe. We're going to go through the tool that opens up, follow it through. And uh, as we hit the uh, selections that make sense for our context, um, once it's completed, we are expected to see something like this, where it's going to say the remote desktop services has ended, or in this case for your, if it's like a local PC, probably shut down your computer, or let you know that you should. Um, and you should not restart it afterwards. So the next steps is just actually just executing these. Okay, so we're going to start by going to the directory. Uh, first and foremost, you can see by the top over here that we're inside of VM, uh, Azure VM. Um, anyways, so that being said, we're going to go over here. We're going to go to the C, <coughs> C drive, Windows, and then we want to find a folder called Panther. And we can outright delete this entire folder. Okay, so now that we have that deleted, let's go over here and let's type in command. We'll hit run as administrator. Let's just navigate to this directory. Oops. Okay, and then let's just run sysprep.exe. Okay, so now that we have the tool open, the you can take a look at some of the um, options that they have over here. In this case, we're going to leave this as default. We're going to hit generalize, and for shutdown options, we're going to hit shutdown. Okay, so once we do that, all we have to do is hit okay. All right, so we're done we have it backed up and ready to use. Okay, so uh, the last thing I guess you can do is you can go to the resource group um, in which your VM resides and you can go to the disk. And you see now you have a couple options here. You can uh, create VM image or create snapshot as well. So we can follow up in the next video on what you can do with these two options here. Okay, so the real last thing to check out is just let's just check in on the VM itself. So if we see the status inside Azure, it's actually been in a stop state, um, just like the fact that, you know, after completing the sysprep, it's shut down the machine as intended. So we now know that the disk that's been created with it or generalized is good for use. Mm -hmm.